Okay, so today I'm back in the 335, which, yes, I've been a little bit quiet about over the last few months, but that's because previously to today, the car wasn't running as it should be, which it is now. And that wasn't for a lack of trying. I did a lot of work on this car, including replacing the turbos myself, having them reconditioned and having the actuator arm fix done to them. I also changed the rocker cover for a genuine replacement and it seemed that every time I got the car fixed it was okay briefly but then not right again and after replacing the after fitting the recon turbos the car seemed to run okay for a bit but then it didn't so I started to look into other things like boost leaks elsewhere and also vacuum leaks so I replaced both the boost solenoid valves myself the, the car appeared to work okay briefly then not I did vacuum tests I did smoke tests the I replaced the boost solenoid valves and it, it worked okay but then then just didn't work again and you know I was convinced that it was some form of boost leak in the system somewhere and I'd given up, I'd given up hope, uh, it, it was just getting on my mind rather than just being able to get on with the job and, and take another look at it, it was just, it had defeated me to be honest. So I took another look at this uh, company that I saw on eBay and I also actually bought the solenoid valves from them and they're in Coventry, which is two hours away from me. It's PMP cars, and if you if you look, they've they've got good reviews. They've got good reviews on Google and Facebook. And I messaged them on eBay, asking them if they might be able to look at my car same day if if I were to make the long journey down to them. And I arrived at ten o'clock in the morning. Within an hour, they had diagnosed the issue. They had the subframe 
lowered, not not off, but dropped down to allow access to the turbos, which I didn't know was possible. And they'd found that one of the welds had broken on the actuator arm, and it was the front turbo, which is the wastegate arm on that on the front turbo is against the block, so. I would have never seen it unless I'd done the same thing, unless I'd spent all that time again dropping the subframe and that was that was a month it took me to do that job on axle stands in my unit. Um, not Obviously not all day every day but it took me a month to get everything taken apart, reassembled, send the turbos off, everything like that. PMP within four hours had my car working like it is today. They had welded the actuator arm on the rear turbo in situ, they, they, in the correct position. They had removed the front turbo, replaced some of the gaskets even, welded the actuator arm on that as well, and they had the car back together within three hours and after doing a software flash on the ECU I'm not sure exactly what they did but they took the they took the car out for a test drive and, and got it all set up correctly. I was leaving within four hours of arriving there. Now this is a job that any garage it, it would take a few days to to remove the turbos and then they would be likely sending them off separate and then having to wait some more time. These guys just know exactly what to do, they know how to do it same day. And knowing what I know now I would have never tackled the job myself because there is a limit. I like to push myself and I like to do these ever increasing difficulty jobs but I think there's a limit to what what makes sense to to do yourself. There's just so many little things that you can't know doing a job for the first time on your own and I always put I, I want I want people to be working on their own cars. Do your services, do as much as you can physically do it yourself but anything technical unless you actually want to specialize in these cars it, it probably is best to take it straight to a specialist and I, I couldn't be happier this this is the first time in 10 months of owning the car that I, I, I feel good about it I, you know I'd the car was with the with the flapper completely loose in the front turbo. The exhaust was noisy. The gearbox was lazy. The it, it just was not pleasant to be in. Whereas now, if you drive it normal, it's a quiet car. It's a very comfy car. It always has been comfy. You just wouldn't know. And then it doesn't matter what speed you're doing. You just plant your foot.
gears that I unfortunately have on the rear are starting to struggle a little bit with how it actually has the power that it should have. Stick around and see what else comes out.